So I'm very excited to talk to you because you've been a contestant, winner, and now a judge here. Tell us about that journey. Well, um, nothing thrills me more than, you know, seeing new talent and seeing that those, those wide eyes and the freshness of it and people who are driven to uh, express themselves in different ways and finding who they are. And um, it's an amazing process. And so it is, it, having been on the other side of the stage, which is terrifying, <laughs> um, my job here is to be supportive and uh, open my eyes and discover things and be available to take in all this great talent. I'm excited. Things have changed in the industry over the years. You give different advice from today back to like, you know, earlier years. You know, uh, time changes, but the, the advice doesn't change. Okay. You have to want it really, really badly. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have to want it more than everything. And I'm certainly not the first person by a long shot to say this, but it is a very, very hard business that if you screen yourself out, you don't have a chance. You have to really want it. and. The advice is to just do it, work wherever you can, sing, in this case, sing wherever you can, in every dumpy dive, in every place where you can, so you can learn who you are, so you can find your feet, so you can uh, discover what this amalgam of your influences are to present something new. You have to be able to fail. You have to put yourself in positions to be able to fail. And there are fewer and fewer of those kinds of places. Um, when I was when I was young, well, I left home. I grew up in Oklahoma. I, I left home when I was 15, and was just out in the world and worked at theme parks and production houses and rep companies and did you know, ended up here. And I've spent most all my life in Los Angeles or New York, but there aren't as many places as there used to be for people to to fail, to try it and fail. And so things like this are very very important because they give people a platform. They give people an opportunity not only to show what they, who they are, but discover who they are as well. Very inspiring. Any upcoming projects you're allowed to talk about? Yeah, I just finished my second book, which nice. I'm very, very excited about. I just finished shooting a pilot that I created. And um, I just finished shooting my show, Ham, Slice, it was a musical memoir, which we did in New York and then Los Angeles. And then we remounted it at the Pasadena Playhouse and filmed it. So there's a lot going on. And I'm a dad. Um, so it's a, a it's a busy life, <laughs> but I'm a really happy guy. Well, two kids myself, yeah, I know. You, so how old are yours? Five and one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the thick, baby. Yeah. It's good though, it's right? Cool. Well, we're working with Save Today website, social media wise, with you. SamHarris.com is the easiest way. All right, Sam. Pleasure Thank to meet you. So you. Take care. Be well.